Hello everyone. This is a video on loans with delayed payments. It's financial meds grade 12. So when they say loan with delayed payment, you get a loan and you start paying it much later. So I have an example here. I'm going to show you how you go about this problem. A loan of 50,000 is repaid over a period of five years from the time that the loan is taken by equal monthly payments at an interest rate of 5.8% per annum compounded monthly. If payment starts six months after the loan is granted, what monthly payment are required to repay the payment? Okay, now, in this question, somebody takes a loan of 50000 and then the loan is expected to be paid in five years. But... The person doesn't start paying the loan. He start paying the loan six months after, six months later. With loans, you are expected to take a loan and pay it one month later. So if you are paying it six months later, it means there's five months that you are not paying the loan. It's like when you get those advertisements when they say, take a TV and pay it in five months time. They are actually going to charge you interest. For the five months that you are not paying, it's not that they are giving that, that thing to you for free. So let me show you how you go about it. With this problem, you see this six months later, after the loan is taken, six months later. So it means you are going to pay interest for five months. As you, you have taken that money, you're supposed to pay it one month later. So when they say six months, you're going to say six minus the one month that is normal. So you're going to pay interest for five months. You're going to go to your formula sheet and use a formula for grade 11. But before that, let's write what we are given. Okay, your P, the money is 50,000. It's P for grade 11. And then your, your interest, your I, is 5.8%. You don't write 5.8%. You take your calculator. Say 5.8% means divide by 100. To say 5.8 divide by 100. So it's going to give you 0, 0.058. But there's something else. They say compounded monthly. So when they say compounded monthly, you want to divide the interest by 12. And then, then N. N is, I give us just six months. So, but I said for every loan you pay it one month later so your end will be five months right you remember when we're doing it in grade 11 we'll take the number of years and multiply it by 12 to make it months in this question it's already in months you see that and then the formula for compound interest you go to your formula sheet and write the formula right and then so it's gonna be fifty thousand. 1 plus interest, it's 0, 0.058 divided by 12, and your N is 5 months, so it's 5. So, let's take our calculator and punch all of that. 51,000, get 51,220. Keep as much decimals as you can, because this is not your final answer, right? What does this mean? It means you took a loan. Of 50,000 but because you have not paid the loan for five months when you start paying the loan the loan will be 51,200 so as every month the month passes we are not paying we are incurring interest on the loan so when you calculate how you remember the question was how much must you pay each month equal payments the equal payments will not be from the 50,000 will be from the 51,000 because by the time you start paying after five months you're gonna be owing the bank 51,000. Now we're going to um, answer the question, well, how much are you going to be granted? So you need to write what you are given again. Your P, you remember it was 50,000. It's We actually took a loan of 51,220.07048. And then your I is the same. It's 0, 0,058 compounded monthly divided by 12. And then your your N. In the, now you're doing grade 12. Your N for grade 12 is number of payments. You remember they said you're going to pay it in five years. 
So it's 5 times 12, which is 60. But you have already skipped five months. So if you if you 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 paid in 60 payments, it will not be five years because it will be, it will be five years, five months. So that's why you need to minus the five months here. So the number of payments you're actually gonna pay 55 times. So what does that mean to you? It means your monthly payment will be slightly higher because this five months that you are not paying, it has to be covered during the five years. Okay, we are calculating X. X is the number of payments that we need to do. So because it's a loan, is a present value annuity, go to your formula sheet and write the present value formula. It's in your formula sheet, you won't miss it. And it's P for present value. So your P is 51,000. 220 070 x is what we are looking for and then the formula it's 1 minus 1 plus interest is 0 0.058 over 12 close bracket minus number of payments is 55 not 60 then close bracket then divide by Interest again, so it's the same thing. There's 0 0.058 divided by 12. Then, for us to get x, it means we must divide all of that with that one. We'll be left with x. So now, you, do you see, for you to be left with x, you need to divide all of that, this side, and divide it all of that, that side. So you're going to have x is equals to, then you have 51,000. 220.07048 divide by this whole thing. There is going to be 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.058 to exponent negative 55 divided by 0 0.058 divided by 12. What you could do for yourself is to Punch this all of that in your natural display calculator and have one number. But that number have it as many decimals as positive as possible, and then divide it with that. Then you'll get your answer. And then x is equal to one zero six two point seven seven. So it means that you're gonna pay one thousand and sixty two rand seventy seven cents. If you, you stayed five months and not paid. So this is how you do the delayed payment. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.